Well, some good news on Red's Meadow Road. The U.S. Forest Service, National Park Service, several partners they are making rapid progress in the cleanup and repairs of facilities and infrastructure in the Red's Meadow Valley. And it was affected by the extreme windstorm back on November 30th. Now, a press release states that the Forest Service has not yet set an opening date for Red's Meadow Road, but it is optimistic that all necessary repairs and cleanup will be completed before the 4th of July holiday. Now the road apparently, according to the press release, will open as soon as the work is completed. Unexpected delays and problems are still possible. The public is encouraged to visit the Inyo National Forest website for the most up-to-date information and work progress reports. And that website is fs.usda.gov and you'll want to go to Inyo Blowdown. Now, road repairs and tree removal continue to occur on a daily basis, according to the press release, due to the complications and hazards associated with roadside cleanup and repair of the road, pedestrian and bicycle access on Red's Meadow Road past the Minaret Vista Station still currently prohibited. Now, the closure is in effect for the entire Red's Meadow Road and all developed recreation areas and campgrounds accessed by the road. The temporary closure will be lifted when when the road opens to motor vehicles. The Forest Service is asking that the public cooperate and respect this necessary closure to ensure their safety as well as the safety of the crews working in the area. Anyone entering the closed area may be issued a citation. Again, if you would like to get some more information about the Reds Meadow Valley, you can contact the Mammoth Lakes Welcome Center 760-924-5500 or visit the Welcome Center on Highway 203 next to the Mammoth Ranger Station. Well, Bennett Kessler filed this following report. Evidence suddenly revealed new concerns about conflicts of interest and surprising testimony. The Dick Lumen appeal hearing continues in Mono County. Mono County fired the 60 year old Lumen last October. He had worked as a mechanic in the road department for 15 years. Lumen says that road supervisor Brett McCurry assaulted him at work during a conversation among four people about what Lumen described as McCurry's quote, management by intimidation, end quote. Now, Mono County fired both Lumen and McCurry. And Lumen requested an open appeal hearing, which started in April and will continue through the end of the month with the next hearing scheduled for today. Now, at last week's hearings, risk manager Rita Sherman testified and revealed that there were written notes by eyewitnesses prepared the day of the incident in question. Attorney Katie Belomo did not know of the existence of one of those sets of notes. Sherman produced notes made by road manager Jerry Vandebrake. Now, he did not name Lumen as the aggressor in the confrontation with McCrory, and in a later county investigation, Vandebrake changed his story. Now, when asked about the new evidence of written notes, Attorney Belomo said, quote, I was floored through all of the hearings. The county never produced these statements. It's very disturbing that they concealed this from me and from the personnel appeals board, end quote. Belomo said this raises the question of whether of what other unrevealed evidence may exist that is relevant to Lumen's defense. Now, in other testimony, Jim Kirby of Public Works said that he listened to tapes of the interviews of the county's insurance investigator made of witnesses to the incident. Now, Kirby said that he compared the tapes to the transcript of the interviews and found discrepancies. You can read more on this story on our website, sierrawave.net. Well, Bennett Kessler also filed this report listed as a practicing attorney with an office in Mammoth Lakes. Elizabeth Catherine Bauer was arrested recently on suspicion of embezzling nearly $72,000 from the accounts of a nonprofit group called Protecting Unwanted Pets. Now, police allege she spent some of the money on her Mammoth Lakes property and on ski lift tickets. Now, according to the Laguna Beach Independent News, the 40 year old Bauer served as president of the all volunteer organization between 2006 and 2011. The article in the Independent says that the pet rescue organization was clo closely intermingled with the city run animal shelter in Laguna Canyon and quote. Now, city of Laguna workers were quoted as saying that they had no knowledge of the pet rescues books. The Independent says that after Bauer resigned in March, the new president of the pet rescue 
quote, noted several bank account irregularities and made repeated requests of Bauer for an expl explanation, but instead received excuses, end quote. A crime report was filed on May 22nd, and when Bauer arrived at the animal shelter for a meeting, investigators met her. The independent article says that police allege Bauer used the money to pay rent on a Dana Point home, purchase ski lift tickets to Mammoth, and to help make repairs on her Mammoth Lakes property. Bauer is scheduled to appear in court for an arraignment on July 5th. Well, on a lighter note, the city of Bishop is holding a city slogan contest. Now, the city of Bishop is looking for a quick and easy catchphrase, six words or less, that sums up what Bishop means to you. The winner will be chosen July 4th, the Bishop City Park, during the Big Day in the Park event. And the winner will receive a 2012 family swim pass, as well as a City of Bishop 100-year commemorative coin. Now, the slogan will be posted on the banner in council chambers, the city's website, the Bishop Chamber of Commerce website, and through the City of Bishop public announcements. You are asked to provide your slogan in writing to the City of Bishop, and you can mail that to P.O. Box 1236 in Bishop 93515, and the deadline to have those in is on Monday, July 2nd at 4 p.m. We'll be back with more news.